At 24, here's meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Another great shot out into the water, the uh, end of the peninsula here, and a couple of sailboats still out there going from bay to lake, kind of like the Niagara is doing tonight. U.S. netting cam with summer-like weather there and fall-like foliage there. Another beautiful night if you can get out and enjoy it. Lake tomorrow, just as good if not better. Partly sunny, low waves. Southwest breezes on the light side and water temperature off Waterworks Beach holding at 65 degrees. So as we take a look at Storm Tracker, another reason that uh, this evening, despite the dwindling in daylight, is very nice. And out here, what's happening is that these showers and thunderstorms are actually weakening as they move eastward. So although there's a chance of a passing shower or two tomorrow, we expect a lot of rain-free weather and warmer temperatures that we got today. We got to 70 today. We could get mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Our low, 64. Again, another day without precipitation, but nothing new there. We'll get some over the weekend. There's your sun stats for you as we do dwindle the daylight, if you do the math, to 11 hours and 11 minutes. So it's warm tomorrow. It's warm through Friday. And then the rains come, late Friday night into Saturday, and the wind, and then the cooler temperatures into the weekend with some improvement, really, early next week. But right now, enjoy the warmth. Uh, 64, Dawn South Harbor Creek, 67, Doc Tom Miller, Niagara Pier, 69, Liz and Corey. Great numbers when you consider the, the normal high is 64 this time of the year. Patty and Meadville actually going up to uh, 73. David Cranesville at 66, and out on our eastern flank here, Bob and Kitty Cooperstown at 67, uh, Don and Linda Chandler's Valley, 69. So upper 60s, low 70s, dew points in the upper 50s. So it's still a little bit on the muggy side before the front. Now, not only temperatures diving, but dew points diving into the weekend. Air quality, again, good today across our area. Big picture shows you the difference. All this moisture coming up on the east side of the low, you can see it here in the green, and then you can see a big wrap around here. So if you look to the west, there's your cold highs. If you look at us, and we've got two more days of this, there's your warm highs. So let's uh, just detail it for you. Maps in motion here as we go through the night. No precipitation expected. Warm southerly winds coming up. Just a slight chance of a shower or two tomorrow. Warm. Friday, you start to get a little bit more, maybe in the morning and then the afternoon, but it's this low and this front, you'll feel it, you'll hear it late Friday night into Saturday morning with wind, rain, and then the cooler temperatures moving in for the rest of the weekend. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore tonight, 57 to 62 evening breaks, more clouds late. South of 90 inland, if you're in southern Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Venango, just partly to mostly cloudy, 55 to 59. Could see some fog in the inland and mountain valleys out east. Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean, you're at 50 to 54. So other than a chance of a shower or two, it's mainly dry, it's warmer tomorrow. We're going 74 to 78, nice summer-like Thursday. As stated, Friday off and on, showers, but still 76. Windy, cooler, wetter Saturday. Not as wet, but cool. Shower chances Sunday, then some sunshine, steady warming, and uh, beautiful fall weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday.